Ladies and gentlemen, it's my very great pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester this afternoon and to the magnificent surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. The university has been conducting graduation ceremonies for the whole of the last two weeks, and this is the very last one. But it's certainly not the least important. For all of you here, it's the most important. And for reasons I'll explain later on, for me, it's the most important. So a welcome to everyone, particularly to our graduands, and we're here to celebrate your achievement and hard work. But I would also like to extend a welcome to the family and friends of our graduands, many of whom have traveled long distances to be with us today. And you're very welcome to the university, and we would like to thank you for all the help and encouragement and support that you've given to our graduands today during their studies. Many of our students, of course, come to us in the traditional way, th straight from school, but I do appreciate in the subjects we're discussing this afternoon, we have many mature students who've worked in a different profession, taken a different course, and then have moved into nursing and the related subjects later on. And I do particularly welcome our mature students and appreciate the toughness of that approach into your career. Also, there will be one or two overseas students, and I'd particularly like to welcome them as well. Their friends and family may not be here, but they may be watching on the webcam somewhere elsewhere in the world. We very much hope that today will go down as a landmark day for all of you, and it's certainly a landmark year for the University of Manchester. Just to pick out two things, uh, you may have noticed that a team from the University of Manchester won University Challenge for 2006. Uh, the Manchester team beat Trinity Hall, Cambridge, very good, in one of, the most uh, one of the closest finals in many years, the score being 160 to 150. And it is the first time that Manchester has actually won University Challenge since it first appeared 40 years ago. Uh, the programme was actually shown uh, late in the late spring, but in fact had been recorded back in October last year. And uh, a friend, quite a senior person in the media, actually leaked the result to me about a week later. So I had to pretend for several months that I didn't know a thing about what was going on. Many of my colleagues have pointed out that that's my usual mode, but there we are. Um, the other highlight to point out is that the university is buoyant in terms of applications from undergraduate students. We have received almost 62,000 applications for undergraduate and first degree and diploma courses starting in September. And that figure is almost the same as last year, and it confirms that this university is the country's top destination for would-be students. Now, my colleagues on the platform know that I like to look back as well as look forward, and uh, I think it is important to recognize that we have a school of nursing which is undoubtedly the best in the country, dating back some 50 years when it was founded uh, as a department within the medical school by Professor Fraser Brockington, whose name we will, I hope, be incorporating in part of the new nursing building, because a remarkable man without whom we would not be here in quite this form. As a graduate from this university, with your degree or diploma, you will be joining a very distinguished hall of fame. And certainly, we know that your prospects are excellent. Uh, the standing of a degree or diploma from this university is extremely high, as I'm often reminded, both elsewhere in the UK and abroad. And so I think you've done yourselves proud by coming here. And your achievement in completing your degree or diploma cannot be underestimated. And you and your family should be very proud of that. But um, the university is also very proud of its performance over the last few weeks. You will be aware that recently industrial action relating to university examinations has been reported in the national media. This university did not cancel any examinations and maintained the scholarly integrity of the examination process and thus the value of a qualification from the University of Manchester. You're now members of a very large community. The uh, staff and students both today and in the past come to some 200,000 alumni. And although you have been here for a time and have enriched the university in your time here, uh, your qualification is the beginning of a journey and not the end. And those 200,000 alumni worldwide are the university's global community. And we very much hope that you'll keep in touch, continue your relationship with the university, both with friends you've made now and with other alumni, and uh, both at a personal and professional level. 
And so do please leave your current email address with the note that you've received and you'll be able to get the new global online alumni network on your machine, not very originally called Your Manchester Online. As a member of the alumni, you also receive a free annual ma magazine, you get invited to social nights, reunions and such like. And should you choose to work abroad, the Alumni Association is active overseas with branches in many countries. So don't make today your last contact with the university. Keep the Alumni Office regularly updated and this is your university and its doors are always open to you. On a personal note, why is this particular graduation ceremony important? Uh, and it's because this is the last one I'm doing in my capacity as Dean of the Faculty of Medical and Human Sciences. I'm moving sideways to something slightly different in the university. Uh, but I've been in that position since 1999 and have greatly valued my association with the now five schools in the faculty. In particular, before I arrived, Professor Karen Luca and I spent a great deal of time thinking about nursing and the research in nursing and the funding of nursing and trying to find ways to do more. As I said before, it's a very, very good school. It's the envy of my colleagues elsewhere in the country. Um, and I think this university in the healthcare subjects is one of the very, very few places where we can actually study and put in the right relationship the two key disciplines in healthcare, nursing and medicine. And I think it's very important that we maintain the strength of both. both. So I value that association, it's been good. So, on behalf of the University, I congratulate all of you who are graduating today on your academic achievement, and I do wish you every success in your future career. Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Midwifery with Honours, Carol Ann Benson. Well done. I'm very pleased. Well done. Rachel Brown. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Joanne Kamak. Well done. Thank you. Angela Marion Kavanagh. Very well done. I'm very pleased. Alison Cook. Well done. Delighted. Helen Davies. Well done, Helen. Delighted. Pamela Amy Damashi. Fahana Farouk. Well done. Very pleased. Anita Fraser. Well done. Delighted. Karen Ann Hill. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. Ruth Hutchins. Joanne Hutchinson. Charlotte Jones. Rudo Katsande. Georgina Killen. Chinwee Kirby. Well done. Wendy Elizabeth Lee. Very many congratulations. Well done. Michelle Jane Lomas. Well done. Adele Nicola Martindale. Very well done. 
Helen Miller. Samantha Kate Nolan. Lisa Jane O'Donnell. Jennifer Oliver. Kirsty Marie Potts. Jane Ann Robinson. Emma Rusa. Dona Thomas. Eleanor Ward. Kirsten Watson. And for the degree of Bachelor of Midwifery, Andrea McKenna. Dominique Mulhaihi. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Practice with Honours, Nicola Grimshaw. Very well done. I'm very pleased. Imelda Hughes. Many congratulations. Sarah Pritchard. Very well done. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing Practice, Anne-Marie McGinty. Well done. Delighted. And for the post-registration diploma in nursing, Michael John Cooper. Well done. Congratulations. Patricia Josephine Grattan. Lisa Jane Littlewood. Susan Elizabeth Shaughnessy. Susan Walsh. Rosemary Ann Louise Wilson. And for the Diploma in Professional Nursing Studies, Shazia Akhtar. Tracy Ann Anderson. Yvonne Iris Ashcroft. Well done. Sarah Atherton. Well done. Very pleased. Samantha Beedon. Well done. Julia Margaret Blood. Well done. Very pleased. And Leslie Borelli. Victoria Bruff. Well done. Delighted. Julia Brown. Well done. Lucy Marie Burns. Well done. Delighted. Amanda Jane Byrne. Laura Jane Capewell. <laughs> Alison Louise Chadwick. <laughs> Joyce Chung. <laughs> Alicia Cook.
Claire Ann Craddock. Laura Cullen. Lucinda Emma Davis. Jill Dean. Leslie Jane Delahunt. Lynn Driscoll. Michael Doffel. Karen Dutton. Anne Durant. Katie Helen Eberl. Louise Ann Evans. Fenton. Nicola Julie Fishlock. Very pleased. Peter Stephen Grace. Many congratulations. Well done, Jim. Jennifer Gray. Really pleased. Pamela Ann Greenhoff. Many congratulations. Very well done. Asha Louise Griffiths. Many congratulations. Well done. Emma Hardy. Well done. Susan Harford. Rona Harrison. Well done. Delighted. Sarah Margaret Hart. Many congratulations. Timothy Ian Helliwell. Well done. Delighted. Sarah Elizabeth Haywood. Excellent. Very well done. Emma Louise Hibbert. Elizabeth Rowena Hobday. Congratulations. Very well done. Kerry Holden. Simon Keith Holden. Got friends out there. <laughs> well Carissima Joanne Hole. Congratulations, well done. Wendy Horton. Very well done, I'm very pleased. Alison Francis Johnson. Well done, you made it. <laughs> Lucy Emma Jones. Victoria Jones. Many congratulations. Well done. Yuki Kano. Many congratulations. Well done. Mary Therese Kelly. Well done. I'm very pleased. Heather Kemp. Well done, I'm delighted. Richard Knight. Well done, congratulations. Patricia May Comendrick. Well done, I'm delighted. Angela Cusick. Well done, very pleased. Fiona Lee. Ruth Littler. Well done. Karen Sarah Lucas. Well done. Danielle MacDonald. Well 
Mishpa Malik. Deborah Martin. Very well done. Melissa Massey. Well Jennifer Susan McAlevey. Sarah Jane McCabe. Anne Marie McCoy. Excellent. I'm very pleased. Helen Angela McDowell. Very well done. Victoria McKenna. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you. Tanya McManus. Well done. Very pleased. Barbara McMorrin. Congratulations, I'm delighted. Jeanette Lynn Morton. George Thomas Moss. Hello, well congratulations. Karen Mulholland. Very well done. Lois Moran Bracanda. Well done. Very pleased. Angela Murray. Well done. Thank you. Joseph William Nash. Well done. Well, congratulations. Roya Leanne Nassimi. Vicky Louise Neal. Well Andrea Neilon. Well Claire Louise Nelson. Very many congratulations. Well done. Shirley Louise Nevin. Well done. Karen you. Judith Newhouse. Congratulations, very well done. Sandra Nixon. Well done, I'm absolutely delighted. <laughs> Michelle Theresa Payne. Well done, very pleased. James John Peter Price. Well done, I'm very pleased. Christine Ann Raw. Many congratulations. Well Francis Rawlings. Well done. Very you. pleased. Jennifer Elaine Roberts. Well done. Very pleased. Sarah Irene Roberts. Well done. Well done. Well done. Teresa Roberts. Tracy Royal. Very congratulations, I'm very pleased. Bernadette Sharples. Well done. Delighted. Rachel Simpson. Catherine Sinicola. Alice So. Well done. Emma Louise Starkey. Well done. Delighted. Kate Victoria Stevenson. Many, many congratulations. Well done. Zoe Rennie Stewart. Well done. Laura, Laura Sulkas. 
Leslie Surridge. Claire Taylor. Well done. Very pleased. David Turner. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Helen Jean Barbara Unsworth. Anne Wade. Well done. I'm very pleased. Jacqueline Deborah Warburton. Very well done. Mark Peter Watson. Well done. Very pleased. Helen Wally. Very well done. Samantha Whitehead. Well done. Very Abigail Williams. <laughs> <Your friends up. laughs> Clifford Wilson. Well done. Congratulations. Nicola Jane Bromley. Jade Carroll. Very pleased. Well done. Sharon Louise Jones. Very well done. Excellent. Victoria Louise Kelly. Excellent. Very well done. Rachel Rose McPherson. Very well done. Very pleased. Caroline Sarah Nuzzo. Delighted. Very well done. Samantha Peter. Well, well done. Well, please. Michelle Smith. Excellent. I'm delighted. Anna Elizabeth Watson. Well done. I'm very pleased. Nicola Woodcock. Well Michelle Janet Brazil. Congratulations. I'm very pleased. John Harry Peter Byrne. Well done. Delighted. Beverly Marie Kane. Well well done. Tracy Corrigan. Well done, I'm very pleased. Patricia Jean Karen Dean. Well done, I'm very pleased. Katie Ann Godby here. Many congratulations, I'm delighted. David John Hesketh. Congratulations, well done. Joanne Marie Jackson. Emma Louise Jones. <laughs> Joanne Sarah Kieran. Very well done. I'm very pleased. Paul Martin Longdon. Well done. Well done. Andrew James Nara MacDonald. Many congratulations. Well done. Catherine McClone. Julianne Morris. Well done. Well done. Catherine Elizabeth Newsham. Very well done. I'm very pleased. Lena Deepa Patel. Well done. I'm delighted. Paula Anita Spencer. David Tomlinson. Well done, very pleased. Sally Diane Waxman. Well done, delighted. Sandra Carol Worthington. 
Jason William Black. Jacqueline Connell. Kerry Ivy on Elliot. Louise Margaret Fenn. Rachel Anna Hine. Rosalind Kenny. Kate Lambell. <laughs> Charla Nazim. Very well done. I'm delighted. Louise Poulsen. Well done. I'm very pleased. Kenny Louise Schleider. Very well done. Ruth Elizabeth Singh. James Gavin Trenor. Many congratulations. I'm very pleased. Nicola Walker. Excellent. Well done. And for the Diploma in Professional Studies in Midwifery, Lindsay Ann Hodder. Very well done. I'm very pleased. Sarah Victoria Palin. Louise Bertram. Well done. Very pleased. Joanne Wright. Well done. Absolutely delighted. And for the diploma in professional studies in nursing, Helen Jane Nicola Johnston. Colette Marie Brogan. Well done. Jenny Andrew. Well done. Congratulations. Emma Boosfield. Many congratulations. Well done. Judy Butterworth. Well done. I'm very pleased. Athea Darrell Asherell. Well done. Well done. Katie Watson. Well Anissa Alam. Very well done. I'm very pleased. Julie Ann Elizabeth Miller. Very well done. And for the Certificate in Higher Education and Professional Studies in Nursing, awarded posthumously to Anne Miller, the certificate to be collected by her daughter, Laura. I'm sorry to these circumstances, but you must feel very proud. In the programme, it states that the affirmation will be read by Professor Luca, but you may have guessed by now that it's going to be read by me. Um, the purpose of this dates back many years in the mid to late 1990s. Many of our students graduating in the healthcare disciplines felt that it was important to acknowledge by a statement that they were moving into a profession where um, they had the care of patients and they had to meet certain standards. So in a moment, I'm going to ask all the new uh, graduates and diplomates in midwifery and nursing to stand, and then I'll read the affirmation, and then I'll ask them to say, I so affirm at the end. So if we could have all the new diplomates in midwifery and nursing to stand, please. Thank you. 
I affirm that I will make the care of my patients my first concern. Treat every patient politely and considerately. Respect patients' dignity and privacy. Listen to patients and respect their views. Give patients information in a way that they can understand. Respect the right of patients to be fully involved in decisions about their care. Keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. Recognize the limits of my professional competence. Be honest and trustworthy. Respect and protect confidential information. Make sure my personal beliefs do not prejudice my patient's care. Act quickly to protect my patients from risk if I have good reason to believe that I, or a colleague, may not be fit to practice. Avoid abuse of my position as a nurse or a midwife. Work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients' interests. In all these matters, I will never discriminate unfairly against my patients or colleagues. I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. So if you could say with me, I so affirm. I so affirm. Thank you. Today we have celebrated the award of your degrees and diplomas. Many congratulations. On behalf of the University of Manchester, I extend to each of you our very best wishes for your future. I now declare this ceremony closed.